Hello fellow Chiefs, this is Catching Fire 3 and today I wanted to go over my interview with with the creator of the Amogus games, you know, the ROM hacks of Pokemon. And uh, they didn't want to be on video, so I went on Discord and texted back and forth some questions, so I'm going to start now. So the first bit is, well, what I first said was, hello, you can unfriend me afterwards if you don't feel like talking about it, but have you ever thought of getting interviewed for it? And I was inviting her, but she forgot to s respond, and she doesn't really talk much, and she doesn't feel like there's much to say, so I can ask any questions. So I asked my first question, what made you think to make the sus version? And something that I would do that she totally did if I if I had the experience that is when my friends in a discord server I'm in was obsessed with Pokemon gold and hates Amogus memes so I made the whole thing in like a week to piss him off which is very funny in my opinion it was just the intro on board at first I did the rest because I was bored which is a very good time waster but really good like way to cope with boredom that's a good reason for it. The next question was, why did you choose to loop one song throughout the whole game and why that version? What she responded with was because it was funny and of course it made me go nuts as you saw in the video. And she did leave a warning that you m might not want to leave the volume on for the sus version. Uh, the next topic was of the imposter version and I asked, is it a ROM hack of Ruby or Fire Red? And what made you think that Ruby or Fire Red would be the perfect game to hack second? Because I didn't know if it was Emerald or Ruby or whatever. She said it was Emerald, which is good to know because in the, my video, I called it Fire Red. So I'm, I'm just stupid, I guess. And because the decomp for it was the most complete, and she couldn't get the Fire Red decomp to build without installing certain things, you know. Nah, she just used that one. Um, my next question was, is the reason you made the imposter version the same for the sus version? And of course, it was. And then people had asked her, her asked them when sh they would make the sequel as a joke. Once her, uh, once their art commission work slowed down, sh they actually had time to do it. I don't know if it's a she or they. And, of course, me being the dumbass, I, my next question was going to be if she was, you know what, whatever. If she was thinking of making a DS-ROM hack of it, but... I just told her to ignore it, and my next question was, actually, why didn't you use the music in this for the sus version? She answered, they both actually use the same bass MIDI, I just couldn't figure out the GP noise channel for the drums. So, I, I, I don't understand that. And she sent me the version of the MIDI she used for Pokesus before she cut the drum track, which I'll play now. While she had a Gen 3 version, which I can show you right now, actually. To me, they both sound the same, but there could be little differences here and there, but I'm not very sure. So, the last set of questions is right now. Do you like Among Us, and if so, ironically or unironically? She answered, she did it for the meme value, and she's never played it. And my last questions had nothing to do with the game, but with what she does. I... I said, I see you like doing pixel art, if I'm correct, because I wasn't sure if that's what she'd call it. And my question was, what made you start doing pixel art? Do you like doing pixel art? Then she sent me a link to 
a thread that she had, which I will link down in the description. It basically, uh, how she started and her usual process for artwork. artwork. Well, this is the end of the video. All I have to add is I thanked her for taking time out of her day to respond about the stupid Pokemon hacks, even though they're really fun to play. And I asked if I could make a video with screenshots of the conversation, so I do have permission for this. But if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more, subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be in your favor. But first, I will link down... Uh, Suzy Q's Twitter, and go check them out, I guess. You know, maybe if you like pixel art.